Hey boos, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mina and thank you for joining me today. If you are new here, thank you for clicking on this video. And if you're already part of the fam, hello, how are you? Thank you for your continued support. So I really need to do my brows. And I mean my brows, we all know. Okay, if you've been, if you are new on my channel, my brows, I've really been liking them bushy, but I haven't really, you know, cleaned them up in a while. And so I was like, you know what, girl, you need to do that. So I was like, why not record it? Because I really didn't feel like doing a makeup look because I don't feel like washing my face. Y'all, it's just <laughs> when you get a certain goal in mind and when you're at a certain point in your life, sometimes you just don't feel like doing nothing. Okay. And me, the only thing I feel like doing is schoolwork and going to work. And working out but that's it okay oh so yeah i'm going to zoom you guys in and we're going to get started on these brows all right so i have my mirror here that i'm going to be looking into i'm just going to be using a spoolie to brush my brows up because i really want to see my arch here and I personally want to see how far I want my arch to go. And because I want more of a pulled look, I am going to be doing my arch a little bit higher. But I saw this on YouTube and I'll insert the YouTuber's name right here where I first saw this trick. I'm going to be using the Nair face cream right here. And I'm going to be using that to outline my brows. And it's so freaking easy and it's just like when you clean up your brows after you do them it's the same technique so i'm going to start in the middle because i do get unibrows honey okay and so i'm just going to put this where i want my brows pretty much to begin As you see, I do go in some because, like I said, my, my hands are crying. Then I'm going to do underneath the brow. So I first start off with a little bit of product and then I build it up. And I'm just using a flat makeup brush to apply it. And then I'm just going to go back in and tap over the areas to just add more product. Let's do the other eye. And this eye is a little bit more sparse, so it's a little easier to really map out where I'm going to put near. And you know, a lot of times, you know, people are like, your brows are, are sisters, not twins, but I'm sorry. I want my brows to be as twinny as they can. Okay. I want to try to make them look as similar as possible because I, I mean, the brows frame the face. So if your brows are off, your whole face off. Okay. I'll apply some more in the middle just because I'm not playing with the middle. Okay. I'm going to start cleaning up the top of my do I look crazy or do I look crazy? Alright guys, so I'm going to let this sit for about 10 minutes. I'm actually going to look on the back of the packaging to see how long it says. It says 5 minutes, so... 
I'm gonna let it simmer for seven minutes. I like to let mine sit a little bit longer and then I'm going to wipe it off and then I'm going to come back on here and then I'm gonna show you guys the next step that I do to make sure my brows are like just perfect here. Yeah, just perfect. I've taken everything off of my face. As you see, my brows definitely look way more clean and it is a little bit red around here it is a chemical and i know this isn't like the best way i could do this but um it's the easiest way and most convenient way and so that's what i do so the way i wiped everything off and this is really key is you want to wipe away from your brow so underneath where i had the product i didn't wipe straight like that so i start like i am going to wipe straight across but then i drag and twist downward so you want to twist downward when you're taking off the product. The same with when you're above the brow, you wanna go upward. So you're going in the direction where you're starting. So below the brow, go downward. Above the brow, go upward. And then in the middle, I also go up as well. The next step to perfecting my brows, I like to tweeze any hairs. I mean, there are going to be some hairs that are stubborn, as you see. All of the hairs right here were not able to come out and I mean that's just pure stubbornness you know you have some hair follicles that are just a little bit more ingrained so it's a little bit more difficult to get them out so I'm just going to take some tweezers any tweezers will work um, I wish these had a sharper point, but they don't, so we're just going to work with what we got. And before I start tweezing, I like to put warm water over my brows to loosen up the hair in the follicle. And I just simply put some warm water on my wash rag right here and place it over my eyes. I'm just going to start plucking away the hairs that I don't want. And some people are a little bit afraid of plucking, but I mean, but after some time, it gets way easier. And you are gonna see my eye water because and some hairs just don't want to leave me guys I mean they do not want to leave and sometimes I don't even like pull a hair but I may pull it a little bit just so I can see like if I do pull it how to look and then if I don't like the way that looks I just keep it there so this is what we're looking like right now. I feel like I'm pretty much done with the brow. I like to run the tweezer on my skin and just pull. So if there's any hairs that are a little bit smaller, I can just grab them like that one. That one didn't want to go out, come out. So I know I need to go a little bit closer to the skin. And also pull my skin as well while I'm doing it. So, and then I'll also go along, you know, my the imaginary line, or you know, pretty much the line, and then I'll pull if there's anything that's in the way of that line or shouldn't be there it's gonna get pulled okay so i used to just like some background on my brows and maintenance and things like that i used to fully pluck my brows i mean fully pluck them 
And I was like, you know what? Do I have to put myself through this every time I do my brows? Like, do I really have to? And so when I saw that tutorial, I was like, oh my God, my life has been changed. Hey guys. Uh, I love my brows. They are cute. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am so glad that I got my brows together. Okay. I just feel like a new woman. Okay. I just really do. And, um, and yeah, they look good. I really like how they just pull up my face. Um, to me, that's just like everything. And it just makes me look like more you know thank you guys for joining me if you enjoy this video please click that subscribe button and join the mdd family and if you are already part of the mdd family once again i thank you guys for sticking here and you know supporting your girl and watching the videos thank you so much and i'll see you guys on the next one bye